previously at SOS Customs. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. Right behind me is the Bellside R7 that we just finished getting into body work. Let's get into today's video. I'm here with Robert, with the owner of the Bellside Body Kit. He's been coming in, dropping in, kind of seeing the progress of everything. So I wanted to kind of show him how everything's coming. Robert, tell oh, me, man. talk to me, how's it looking? I could not be more excited. This is looking great. Better and better each time I stop by. Oh, my heart is just like beating out of my chest. It's gonna be so clean. I can tell you guys are just like closing in these gaps here. Getting it all sanded down, ready for paint. So we're this close to getting the FD and primer finally. It's been so much work, you guys like literally have no idea. Uh, over five weeks of water work on this thing, it's ridiculous. Uh, look at the gaps though, man. These gaps are like, I have no problem saying that this car, the best body work 
FD fortune kit from Bell's side that you guys have ever seen. And it's not even painted or anything like that. Look at these gaps, guys. It's it's literally chef's kiss. My baby daddy over here, Renee is doing an impeccable job. Let's look at the rear end. Look at these gaps, guys. Renee's been hard at work. He's got all these gaps, like perfect. All the way around in every single direction. You guys don't know how much man hours this is to do this all by hand and make all these gaps so nice and aren't all jagged. We shaved every single little fake rivet that was on the kit throughout the whole kit, everywhere. See where these, these sandpaper, see where these rivet points were? Those have all been deleted off the kit all the way, and they came everywhere. They were on the whole fender, they were on the hood, they were on the bumper. They have all been shaved, and this thing is looking impeccable. I can't wait till this thing just gets primered because it's just, it's just so much of a beautiful car, guys. It's, and it's not even painted, it's not even primer. Just wait till this thing gets primered. It's gonna be amazing. This thing is badass, and uh, I hate to say it, but uh, TJ, when we get these things side by side, I don't know, man. Just came. Uh, much love to TJ. He's he's already done getting his painted, so I don't know when our video will be out compared to when he reveals his. I, I hope that we get to get that extra push in this thing and um, and get it done around the same time and we can get these cars side by side. That would be amazing. But I'm not really trying to race anybody. I want this thing to come out perfect because this is a car that we're doing and you know it's one of my favorite movie cars ever period so to be able to have a chance to build one of these it's it's just a dream come true so it's more a lot more of a labor love than than usual when it comes to some of these wide body kits uh some of these kits don't fit worth a damn to begin with but this one yeah it's a lot of work but it's also it's like the whole car you're literally building a whole new car this is now nowhere near what a rx7 comes it's like when you put these pieces on it literally transforms the whole car and when it's all done it's just gonna be the most the biggest reward ever and i think i'm gonna cut i want you guys to give a huge shout out to the nene el más chingón el más chingón que todos se la se la pelan verdad se la pelan verdad Spanish lesson of the day. Me la pelan. Which translate into, like in the literal sense, it means they can peel me. That's what like the literal sense. But it kind of meets like a sexual thing. I won't really get too much into it, but like pretty much you can peel, like, you know, I don't know. I don't wanna, you know, you know what I mean, right? All right. You know? Okay. Just making sure you know, because if you know, you know. You know. So uh, I just did a, like our Spanish word of the day, and um, and I translated it, I don't know, Chino speaks Spanish excellently, right? And uh, I translated me la pelan, me la pelan. Pela. So melapelan me pela. means like in a literal sense they peel me. Yeah. Right? That's what it means. All right guys, so after what seems like months of working on this RX-7, it is finally ready for primer. We're gonna go ahead and put the wheels on. This thing got some wheels finally. It's gonna go back on the ground and it's gonna go in the paint booth and get some primer on this thing. Let's go. All right guys, so we got the wheels uh, that the customer just picked up for the SD. They're on the car. We're gonna go, go ahead and show you guys. I'm gonna need some honest opinions down in the comment section. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, guys, so here they are. Some deep, deep boys from GMR. 
these wheels actually came off of Bellside NSX build. That was a SEMA car a couple years ago. Uh, but these are the wheels. It's definitely gonna need a little bit of a spacer in the rear. Um, but I didn't know what you guys think. Uh, the customer originally planned to go with some work wheels. Uh, but as you guys know, there's a lot of back orders right now. So he knew he kind of needs some wheels now. These are the wheels that he went with. I think they look good. It's gonna need a little bit of a spacer. We're about to lower the car right now. The car is still stock height. So you're gonna have to take that into consideration. Uh, it's definitely gonna need some bags. Uh, but I think the front's fit pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and lower the car right now. Uh, we're getting the car ready to go in the booth for primer right now. guys the rx7 is finally in the booth we're gonna go ahead and start masking this thing up and get it ready for primer uh, usually we would take every single piece off and primer everything individually but for this one we really want to see it all together as one and we want to show it to you guys all as one plus we're gonna block it everything together then we'll take it off shoot another coat of primer all individually each part uh, so for now just to kind of get everything together and we don't have a bunch of pieces all the way around the shop we're gonna go ahead and start masking this up, get it ready for primer. Hoy, mucho, mucho tiempo se fue en este carro. ¿Ya estás feliz que lo vas a premiar ya? Sí. guys and she is fully primer what do you guys think this is still a long ways away from paint but it was kind of nice to see this thing all one tone uh, up next is just a couple weeks worth of dry time and then from there we'll guide coat this thing and we'll go ahead and reblock the whole car out and then from there we will go ahead and shoot another couple coats of primer and then from there we will take care of any imperfections uh, that we may find after blocking this thing out but just just with the primer thing looks night and day difference I'm pretty excited about getting this thing all together and um, it's definitely made a lot of strides in this last couple uh, weeks and months and uh, we're gonna get this thing ready here we will see you guys in the morning. It's uh, about 7 o'clock here in California, so it's time to go home. The next day. All right, guys, the RX-7 is finally primered. This is so exciting. It's been a long time coming. We are going to primer a couple of the door pieces right now and pull this thing out, put that together, and kind of show you guys the overall look of what it's looking like right now. And that will pretty much be the second portion of the FD Velside build. Next up is paint. Dude, this thing is gonna look sick. This thing is looking really nice. Now that everything is one color, you can really appreciate all the gaps throughout the car, everything. We still have a lot of finishing work to do, right? But all like the main body work, all the alignments, you know, all the waviness, all that stuff is done. This is not gonna look like a fiberglass kit. This is gonna be real nice and smooth. We're gonna block this thing, we're gonna reprimer it. Uh, when we reprimer it next time, we're gonna take it all apart and primer all the edges. 
Uh, let that sit for another couple weeks, and then from there we will go ahead and start our uh, final wet sanding block and uh, prep process for paints. All right, guys, and that's gonna wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, this didn't really even cover half of the amount of body work that went into this thing, but it is looking great. We're really happy. Uh, we made one huge step in getting this thing in primer. Next up is gonna be a lot of work to prep this thing and get this thing perfect for paint. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe and notification button so you guys get up to date on all our latest videos. Also, go ahead and give us a follow on IG. I'm gonna go ahead and drop our link right there so you guys can see the daily update. So again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and end with a little bit more uh, clips of the FD Arc 7 bell side that we are building. And uh, that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys so much. Here at SOS Customs, we got you covered. Peace.